Hello guys, my name is Jordan and I work in developer relations here at PubNub. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own real-time updating leaderboard in Unity 3D. Uh, all the code is actually open source and it's all available on my GitHub here. Um, if you go to Jordan Shoots and you go to real-time Unity leaderboards, it's going to be located right here. So let's get into it. Um, essentially, I have on my hierarchy, I have various elements, I have input fields, I have various text elements, and what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click play, and what you're going to see is you're going to see all the, all the information populate. Um, and this information is all being populated from PubNub, and it's basically fetching information from a KV store, which is essentially a database, and then is putting that information in real time on my screen, which is pretty awesome. So if I want to, let's say, add a new value to uh, the game, and let's say, I don't know, what would the name be like? Uh, let's, I'll put my, my first name and my last name, and then I'll put like a score, let's do 80. So now when I submit it, you'll notice that this appears at the top. Uh, and the thing is, it's gonna appear on the top on everybody's screen. So I have multiple other windows open here, and as you can see, it updated here in real time. Um, let, let's try another one. Let's add Joe, but let's make him only be, have, uh, let's say, 16 points. So as you can see, it kicked the other person off the list, and now Joe appears in the middle. And the way this works, right, let's look, let's look at the code. So essentially, when the game loads up, it initializes PubNub here. Void start basically is what happens on initialization. And it, assign, it assigns each player with the with a UUID here. Uh, these keys, these are PubNub keys, and these you actually have to acquire by making your own application on the PubNub admin dashboard, and you can get your own keys uh, there to, to run this example. So once it initializes PubNub, it's gonna send a PubNub fire message. And what a PubNub fire message does is that allows, that basically says to PubNub that I'm here, uh, I'm a new user, update me with the most recent information. So immediately when you load up the game, you're gonna be served with the most recent database information. And you can see how this works by me just clicking pause, right? You can see there's no, no information here. But immediately when I click play, let's give it a second, bam, everything updates. And that's because of this fire message here. Um, and what that fire message is doing is it's sending a packet of information to the PubNub function, which is called leaderboard function. And essentially what this function does is it requires a KV store, it requires PubNub, and then it takes that information that we sent and it actually parses it in JSON. And then we pull out some variables from that JSON information, like your username and your score. So what happens is it uses the, the API db.get, and essentially this checks the KV store to see if there are any like values currently in the KV store. If there are not any values, we're actually gonna set up the format of how the KV store is gonna look. So this is kind of the format, as you can see, like usernames would go here, scores would go here, and that's kind of the array structure of, of the database. So if for some reason all your data gets deleted, and then someone else joins the game and wants to see the most recent data, they'll be served with this. Mm -hmm. However, that's most likely not gonna happen because you're always gonna have data in your KV store. So if that if the value does exist and there, there is information in your KV store, what we're gonna use, we're gonna use the array prototype sum, which allows you to return true and actually allows you to exit out of the loop um, once, it, once it replaces the correct value in the correct location for the array. So this, all the slicing that we're doing here, um, this is basically just putting the score in the right location. So if there's a score greater, uh, it, basically if there's a score that's greater and there's a score that's that's lower, it'll put it'll put you in the middle. And, and it, this is all the logic to basically resort the array. Once the sorting is complete, we set that data to the value. And then what we do is we publish that message back to all clients connected to the channel. So basically all these Unity clients that are connected um, to the channel, they'll receive that information coming in in real time as, as, as it's sent to the database. So 
once that publish happens, that publish gets sent and we go back to our code here and that publish will actually be um, dealt with here in this PubNub subscribe callback. And so essentially what we do is we look to see if the message result doesn't equal null. And if it doesn't, we, uh, we basically assign the message to a dictionary object, which is a string and an object. And then what we do is we pull the username and the score out of that dictionary. And what we do is we iterate through the, the usernames and the scores. And we assign, we basically find each game object. So we're looking here in Unity, we're looking for each of these scores, each of these game objects, and here in the code, it basically goes through each one and it replaces each te text object with the correct uh, with the correct structure of the array. Um, in, in line 95 through 100, this is actually what subscribes our client to the PubNum network. So essentially, currently, any messages that are coming through my channel 2 will be received in this subscribe callback function. And as you can see, when we go back to functions here, uh, it says my channel too. So we're publishing the message on my channel too. And now our client is receiving that message in my channel too and is handling the response here. Um, the void task on click function on line 103, what this does is this takes the information here. So the username and the score that you enter uh, in the text fields. And when you click that submit button, um, it's basically gonna publish the message and it's going to pull the information that you have and it's going to it's going to publish it uh, to the PubNum network um, and that's basically how the code works it's pretty it's pretty straightforward pretty simple um, and you can do it yourself very easily I have a whole tutorial out on the PubNum website on how to on how to make this and also the code is all available on my GitHub so make sure to go download it check it out so that you can make a really really easy real time leaderboard in your game. Thank you so much for listening. Hope this was helpful and have a great day. Bye-bye.